Hey everyone, it's Robin and welcome to the Robin's Nest. Today on my channel, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cake Lobo the Werewolf from the adorable children's show, Super Monsters. Now this cake should be really, really fun and hopefully not too difficult. So let's get into it. So for today's cake, I'm starting it with four 10 inch vanilla cake rounds, which we're going to begin by trimming down and leveling out before we get these stacked and filled. So I'm just going to take my cake leveler, which I've already preset, and we're going to trim the tops off these. Then we're going to grab a 12 inch cake board and get these stacked and filled with some delicious vanilla American buttercream. So when icing your cake, there are a couple of tools that I highly recommend that you have that are going to help make the job so much simpler. Number one being an offset spatula. Now I like to use a small one, you can use a large one if you like, but I just love these because they have a little bend in the center here and this helps keep your hand out of the way of your work so that way you don't mess anything up as you're icing your cake. And next I recommend a good quality turntable. Now I really love this one because it's slightly weighted so it's not going to slide around while I'm icing my cake and it spins like butter. So I'm not going to have any of those ridges around the outside of my cake because my turntable doesn't turn smoothly. And if you guys are interested in this one, you can find a link to it in the description box below. So the first thing you're going to do here to start stacking and filling is take our cake board, which as I said is a 12 inch. We're going to apply a little bit of icing to our board to act as a glue for our cake layers. And then we're going to add a nice generous layer of icing in between each layer of cake. Alright, so I've reached the halfway point of my stacking and filling process and I'm realizing this is going to be quite a large and heavy cake, so I want to add some supports. So I'm going to take some small wooden skewers, we're going to measure these off and insert these all into the bottom layer of our cake. Then I'm going to take a 10 inch cake board, lay that in the center, and then we can continue to stack and fill our layers. There we go. Now I did say I used a 10 inch cake board in the center of this, but I actually trimmed it down to about a nine inch because I'm gonna be carving off some of this caramelization and I needed that little bit of extra room. So that's the next thing we're gonna do is trim this all down, but it's easier to carve a cold cake. So I'm gonna pop it in the fridge first for about 10 or 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna color the rest of my buttercream with a little bit of brown, or you guys can use chocolate if you prefer.
Okay, so we finished trimming down our cake and coloring our icing. So now it's time for our crumb coat. So we're just going to take our small offset spatula or a large one if you prefer, and we're going to apply a nice thin layer over our entire cake, and then I'm going to use my plastic bench scraper to smooth it out. And there we go. Now all of our crumbs are sealed in and it's time to put our cake back in the ridge to till for a little bit before we add a final coat of icing. And when we come back, we're going to start working on some decorations. So for our decorations, we're going to be making Lobo's eyebrows, his eyes, his ears, and his adorable little snout. And I think we're going to start with his ears first because these are going to need the most amount of time to dry. So I've drawn up a little template here of his ear, as you can see, and I've also drawn up one of his face. I'll show you guys that right quick too. And we're going to be using these to cut out all of our shapes. So for his ears, I'm going to add a little bit of Tylo powder to my brown, and we're going to get that rolled out fairly thin, as well as a piece of pink. Then we're going to use our template to cut out the shapes we need and then piece them all together. Then once I have my two ears ready to go, I'm going to insert a couple of toothpicks up inside, and then we're going to set them off to dry and firm up for when we put them on the cake later on. All right, there we go. I think those turned out really good. So now we're gonna set these off to dry and next we're gonna start working on his snout. So for the rest of the decorations, we're gonna be using the same principle as we did with the ears, but using our template, marking out the shapes we need, cutting them and then piecing it all together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and complete the entire face and then I'll show you guys how it turned out. All right guys, we finished his face and didn't that turn out super adorable? I think it looks amazing and it's gonna look so good on our cake. So we're gonna set this to the side and go grab our cake now and we're gonna do our final coat of icing. So for our final coat of icing, we're gonna be taking the rest of our brown vanilla American buttercream and we're gonna be applying a nice generous layer all over our cake. Then I'm gonna take my bench scraper and we're gonna to try to smooth that out as best as we can. Now with what icing I have left, I'm gonna put some of that into a piping bag and then I'm gonna to attempt to pipe his little hair flip on the top and his cute little cheek cups.
All right, so we got his little hair flip done and I got the little tufts of fur on his cheeks too and I think that turned out pretty good. Now, I could have got my cake a little bit smoother had I had a taller bench scraper, but I think I did pretty good for what I have so far. So we're gonna go grab our decorations now, get them into place, and then I'll show you guys what he looks like. And ta-da! Here he is guys and I think he turned out amazing. I'm so excited about it because I was a little bit worried about the proportions and how the buttercream hair and his little cheek tufts were going to turn out but overall I really really like it and I think it turned out so good and I really hope you guys all like it too. If you did you guys know what to do. Leave me a big thumbs up and lots of love in the comment section too and if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. And if you guys recreate this cake, I would love to see it. So don't forget to tag me on my Insta at the Robins Last 83. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.